Alrighty, Mr. Gatekeeper. I'm going to try something a little new. Since the video is good from this POV camera, but the audio sucks, I am going to attempt to uh, add some equalization to the audio afterwards. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see how that works out. All right. I got a lot of shipping to do today. I got a lot of transistors to get out. Basically, what right what we have right here is a hundred and twenty, a hundred and twenty C's. The big boys, the competition twenty eight seventy nines. That's what the C stands for, for everybody. Y'all should know that by now. Most of you should. 2879C stands for competition. And I'll tell y'all what the D stands for later on. Alrighty. I'm keeping these HGs moving, but I will be honest with you. The cells are not rolling as fast as I would like for them to. So I'm not going to be able to do a giveaway this weekend. I've been I've been doing giveaways every two weeks. But I'm going to be honest with y'all. The giveaway that I did two weeks ago to this day, I think I've only had one of those guys contact me with their information. And I think the problem is, is me carrying on everybody to the next week. Now I get why other YouTubers don't do that. There's really no reason for me to do that anyway, since I am keeping up with who's winning, so you can't win twice. So I'm going to stop doing that, and I'm going to give people more time, instead of just one day, to uh, get on the list. So I learned my lesson. But what I'm going to do is, for all the people that still have not contacted me with their information so they can receive their winnings, I am going to re-give it. So yeah, so I'm not going to do a giveaway this weekend, but the giveaway that I plan on doing next weekend is going to be big. I'm going to be giving away more more uh, items than I ever have. I'm going to be re-giving, and I, I, I do need to say, and I'm, I'm going to give this guy his limelight. One of the guys, let's see what our scope is. Oh, boy! Dun, da, 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 da. This is a record. Look at the scope of this, y'all. Wow! Look at the scope. Y'all see that? We have a hundred and twenty twenty-eight seventy-nine C's. Somebody is honking a horn out there. I can hope what all day long I ain't getting out. But uh I ain't stopping this video. We have a hundred and twenty twenty eight seventy nine C's. And the HFE scope is seventy one to seventy two. Wow, that means that all 120 of these transistors are going to be either going to have a 71 written on them or 72. So that means that these bad boys are matched nicely. I have never had one yet. Other than there's been times years and years ago when I've made custom orders for, 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 for big amps. That was mainly when we were doing a lot of testing and stuff to where I would order custom orders for them to be the exact HFE. But that I'm not counting that. I'm just counting just getting them like this randomly. This is this is the best. I've never had a scope that thin on that many transistors. That is amazing.
Wouldn't it be amazing? If, wouldn't it be nice if every single one could be like that? Or how cool would it be to get a to to, to get a hundred and twenty and have the scope all the same? Now that would be neat, wouldn't it? Wow, that is nice. I'm gonna send me a nice little email to my guy up at HG. Or better yet, I'm gonna give him a ring. I ain't gonna call my translator first, just something simple like that. I'm gonna give him a little ring and give him some major, major kudos, major things. I want, I gotta see this for myself. Let's make sure they didn't do a a, a mistake on the scope here. All I see is 71, y'all. How about y'all? Y'all see? God, I hope I got this camera on my head right. I adjusted it last time I used it. All I see is 71, 72s on this one. Okay, it looks like every single one from here on out is going to be a 72. God, that is beautiful. <laughs> that is beautiful. The work, the work they had to go through for this to happen. Y'all, I don't know if a lot of y'all get it. The thousands of transistors that are made up there. And the amount of matching they have to go through with that curve tracer to get to get just 20 of the same. See, I started off things right with HG in the beginning. They didn't know nothing about U.S. customers wanting to buy these with the same HFE. They didn't even know anything about that. Um, I let them know off the rip. That's a very important thing, you know. And they don't have to do what they're doing. They do not have to be up there matching. Literally, they have an actual department just for matching Okay, someone up there it literally has their job every day just for matching. They're manually doing this with their hands now. They don't have a machine do, doing this. This is a, this is their hand deal. Could you imagine just matching all day long is your job? Oh goodness! So I got to give the credit where the credit is due. They don't have to be doing that. That's that that's technically our. But there is a little leeway when it comes to that, since the quality control isn't where it would be for, let's say, the Toshiba, Motorola, etc. It helps for them to do that. That 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 in a way becomes part of their quality control. So, but this is nice, y'all. All right, y'all want some C's? You better get them. They, I probably won't have these no more in four or five days. Y'all better hurry. C's are, here's what's crazy. I sell more standards than anything, right? I really do. But the C's sell quicker. Ain't that crazy? There's more of a volume of standards sold at a wide range of time, but the C's sell the quickest. So whenever I do have them, they get rid of the quickest. I actually see people buying larger quantities of C's. I think it's, I don't really know what it is. It's, it's, it's weird that it works out that way. They're more expensive because you get 50 more watts. It's just simple, y'all. Let's just turn this over. A 2879 standard. We're just going to keep this real simple. Now, y'all see this? One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's a standard 2879. It has four chips inside the device, which is making your RF, amplifying your RF power. Okay? We call that a 100-watt device. On what is it, 12.3? I'm just coming out of this with my head. 12.3 volts with 100 milliamps worth of, of bias current on 
28 megahertz, it's 70 something degree. Uh, you see what I'm saying? We got to have a reference, a, 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 a reference point. The, the, power, the, 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 the transistor does this at this with this amount of inner modulation distortion, etc. Okay? Got to have a starting point. I don't mean it's a 100 watt pill and that's all it's going to do. No. We're given a base point in the data sheets, Toshiba's, etc. They give you a base point. You know, you turn this 12 volts up to 15, and this is going to go up, and other things are going to change. That's the way it goes, alright? Alright. A C is technically a. A 2510, which is a 28 volt component, right? The Toshiba 2510, 150 watt component. So technically, what a 2879C is is this, but still a 12 volt component. So instead of having one, two, three, four chips, it has five, six chips, which makes it roughly a 150 watt component. Same exact chips in each of these devices. This just has two more. All right. So if you look at it like this, two 2879Cs equals three standards. Two equals three standards. So that means four of these equals six standards. So a four pill C box should be running like a good, decent, strong six pill standard box. So I don't know why I told y'all that, but I know a couple of people that don't understand what the C's are may be curious about that. And like I said, I can't publicly speak about the prices that these that I sell these for because they're heavily discounted. But they will not be there for long. I am literally almost done with this program over here. And then I'm putting full force into the website and finishing it up. Anybody that's ordered from me before that point is locked into those same prices. If HG ever goes up in the future, it'll just the ratio will just go up with it. But you'll be locked into that same ratio of prices. Text me, 678-557-4846. If you never dealt with me, ask for a price list. I've got one already pre-saved up. I can just shoot you really quick. And now, I even take more payment options. I have set up my Zelle, and I have set up Venmo, which you, you can actually pay my invoices with Venmo since PayPal owns Venmo. So I have many ways, many ways that I can take your payments. I mean, you about impossible to not have one that will work good for you. The default way is just you sending me your uh, email, your, your email account, just pasting it over to me, sending it to me, and I send you an invoice using my PayPal business account, but you do not have to have a PayPal account to pay it, which is really neat. So if you don't have a PayPal account, no big deal. You just click on pay with debit or credit card, okay? Or you can pay with your PayPal account. Or you can pay with your PayPal credit, or you can pay with Pay Later, or you can pay with Venmo, right then or there. I also take Cash App, I also take Zelle, and if somebody absolutely has to, I'll take Money Order. So, it's, everything will fit everybody. I have just a few uh, medals left here, y'all. These are all matched to the exact Pico Fared. These medals cost only 25 cents more. And if you bought them not matched, so they're five fifty a piece. So I still got a couple left. So still got a couple metals left, y'all. If you want to buy them with your transistors, and that wraps it up. I'm gonna take this off and see if I can't edit this. And I'm sorry, I know when I talk, this thing's shaking. Let me see if I can't figure out how to stop that from happening because the whole point of me wanting better cameras and stuff, I don't want to quit this shaking that I do because I'll sit here and be doing a video and I'll just forget I'm holding the camera and I'll be all over the place. Thanks for hanging out there with me, y'all, if you made it this far. 
Um, I'm, I'm completely stocked up on transistors right now. I got them all. I got 2290s, 1446s, 454s, 2879s, 2879Cs. So whatever you need, I got you if they're in that list. Old gatekeeper out here around the northeast end of Georgia. And like a lot of